بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسبح لله ما في السماء Envy will understand that in no Hulukun Zameen, La Yali Kubi Mukmin, Amen Abi Rabbihi, Wa Aikon Abi Hikmatihi, Wa Rabi Abi Kismatihi, Wa Habbal Wa Habbal Khayr Limutamahi, Wa Humatihi. We understand from the divination that envy is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes. It's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala condemns. Even la yali kubi mu'min in amana bi rabbi. We shouldn't see it with any believer, a good believer, a true believer, should not be addressed should not be seen, should not be, you know, seen with envy, displaying envy. The enviness is not something that we should attribute to a believer. Amana bi rabbihi wa aikona bi hikmatihi. A wise Muslim, a wise believer should not be addressed with envy. Whoever who is pleased, if you are pleased with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you, you should not involve in envy. When someone loves in society, people around you, we shouldn't see you with envy. We should not find it in your character, in your attitude. Ibad Allah, honorable servant of Allah, Falhasudu, huwa alladhi imtalaha qalbuhu hikdan, wa kariyyatan, wa hasadan, la yasurruhun an yara ni'mata ala ahadin, wa la yarihuhun, wa la yarihuhun an yara min al-nasi man huwa akthar min umalan wa waladan. أو أفضل منه علما وأجل منه قدرا. هل أصول؟ Envious person هو الذي امتلع قلبه هكذا. is someone that is art is full of hatred. وكراءة كراءة ماليس. وحسدا ما شاء الله. Envy. لكن لا يسرهم أن يرى نعمة على أحد. is not pleased with to see someone with blessings of Allah. envious person would never be pleased. would never be, be happy when he sees someone happy. someone with blessings of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. it will be unhappy لا يسره لا يسره أن يرى نعمة على أحد ولا يريه أن يرى من الناس من هو أكثر من أمالا and he will not be pleased to see someone having more than him having money more than him having children more than him having houses more than him having blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than him honorable servant of Allah الحسود يتمنى أن يكون عنده ما ليس عند غيره ما ليس عند غيره envious person would like to have everything he would like to have everything أن يكون عنده ما ليس عند غيره he want to have what other people will not have You can see. وَيُحِبُّمْ وَيَتَمَنَّ أَنْ يَكُونَ عِنْدَهُ عِنْدَهُ 
غير عنده ما ليس عند غيره يحب أن يمتلك كل شيء وأن يفقد كل الناس كل شيء. He doesn't want other people to have what he has. Honorable servant of Allah, we need to understand these are the the definitions of envy. An envious person or envier, and we need to understand that the first sin committed against Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, if we never, the first sin committed against Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala was envy. If we never, the first sin, how? We have it in the Quran al Kari, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the first sin committed was envy. Ma awal zambi, usi Allahu bihi fi sama. What was the first sin committed? Al hasadu awal zambi. Rusi Allah bi ifi sama hina halak Allah taala Adam alayhi salam wa amar al malaika ta bi sujud lah ikram Allah wa tashrifa. That was when Allah subhanahu wa taala completed the creation of Prophet Adam. When Allah subhanahu wa taala created Prophet Adam alayhi salam was salam and he now invited all the angels of Allah subhanahu wa taala. When Allah invited them, Allah said to them. Is Judo le Adam? He commanded all of them to prostrate to Adam, Ali Salatu Wasalam, to kareem Allahu, to honor him, what a sharif and to respect Prophet Adam, Ali Salatu Wasalam. For stadab al malaika to le amur Allah, all the angels of Allah, all the malaika and angels, they all responded to commandment of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. They all prostrated to Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wa salam in la iblisa. Except who? Iblis. Wa mtani a iblis ani sudun ila Adam hasadan. Hasadan wa takaburan. Iblis did that out of envy. And what do you call it? Envy, enviness. What a kabbora! Now Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says to him, he said to him, where Allah says in the Quran and Karim in Surah Al Baqarah, Allah says, "Why do we not let the angels sujud to Adam? Fasajadu illa iblis Aba wa Stakbara." وكان من الكافرين. so when Allah subhanahu wa taala commanded all the angels of Allah, all the angels to prostrate to Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wasalam in the Quran, Allah said that they all prostrated to Prophet Adam illa ibilisa except ibilis. out of Abba he reveals to prostrate to Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. how how do we get this? We find it in another verse in the Quran in Kareem, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also فَسَدَّدَ الْمَلَائِكَةُ كُلُّهُمْ أَجْمَعُونَ إِبْلِيسَ اسْتَكْبَرَ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ قَالَ يَا إِبْلِيسِ مَا مَنْعَكَ أَنْ تَسْجُدَ لِمَا خَلَقْتُ بِيَدَيَّ اسْتَكْبَرْتَ اسْتَكْبَرْتَ أَمْ كُنْتَ مِنَ الْعَالِينَ قَالَ أَنَا خَيْرُ مِنْهُ خَلَقْتَنِي مِنْ نَارِ وَخَلَقْتَهُ مِنْ تِينٍ Masha Allah, in Surah Al Sad, Quran 28, verse 71 to 76, you see where Allah explained it, where Allah demonstrated it that how the uh, Iblis, how Iblis, Allah, how he disobeyed Allah out of envy. He envied Prophet Adam, alayhi salatu wa salam. He said, when Allah asked him, what did you reveal to, to persuade to Adam? He said, Ha. Huh? Adam. 
Why didn't you persuade to Adam? Khalaqtuhu min yadi. Alas limana khalaqtu bi yadayya. Something that I created by myself and I commanded you to persuade to him and you refused. Why? Do you know what the, uh, Iblis said? Iblis said to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Faqala, I'm a khayru minu, I'm better than him. You can see envyness. He said to Allah, I'm a khayru minu, I'm better than Adam. Khalaqtani min nari. Did you forget that you created me from fire? Wa khalaqtahu min teen. And you, proved, you created from it Adam for clean. And you are expecting me to persuade for him. I'm better than him. As many people do say, how will I respect so so person? I'm better than him. I senior him in age. I senior him in everything. Although he has money, more than me, he has this, he has that, but I senior him. Out of what? Out of envy. That was what happened to the prophet Adam. It was the first sin committed against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even in heaven. For Allah, honor the servant of Allah for us to know that not only that, even the first sin committed on this service of earth was envy. The first sin. In both heaven and what? And on this service of earth. Envy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran al Kareem, Al Hasadu, Awal Zambi, Usi Allah who be fil ard, Inama Hasada ibn Adam, Kabila Akawa, Ahana in Allah, Fakubila Kurbana Habil, Walam Yukbal, Walam Yukbil, Kurbana Kabil, Bil Akawut Abil, Ala Dali, Wakatanahu. Look at it. When Prophet Adam, alayhi salatu wa salam, and Allah gave, uh, Prophet Adam gave back to Qabil. Qabila and Habila. They were children of Adam, alayhi salatu wa salam. You know, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded them, both of them, to sacrifice, and when they did it, is there in the Quran al Karim? Just because of the time, let me just summarize it. Both of them took their sacrifice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted the sacrifice of Habil. And he didn't accept the sacrifice of what? Of Kabil. The, both of them are children of Adam. Allah accepted the, the sacrifice of what? Of Abila. And he did not accept the, the sacrifice of Kabila. For that reason. As we all know, sometimes you may be invited, you may be called for an interview. Many people will be there. And they are going to take only three people, and uh, we have 20 people. That was the similitude of what happened. They are going to take only three people. They can't take you all. And that was the what happened to, to Habila and Kabila. Allah accepted the Habila, he didn't accept the Kabila. Fuck up, tell Kabila, Habila. Kabila now, out of Envy. He knew that Allah accepted uh, uh, Habila sacrifice. He didn't accept his own. For that reason, he now killed his brother. Out of envy. And it was the first sin committed. The first sin committed against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this service of art. Is there in the Quran and Karim? You can go through here by yourself. Call us subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Mahira. Take a look at Surah Al-Mahira, Quran 5, verse 27 to 30. You see all this, the, everything in detail. You find it there in Surah Al-Mahira, Quran 5. Honor of Allah.
we need to understand and to know the ties of envy. Al hasadu in kasam al hasadu ila kismain. Ila kismain. Envy divided into two. We have two types. Two types of envy. Al hasadu al mamduhu fahuwa al gibtotun. Wal hasadu al masmum aw al mamnu'. Two types. The first one is acceptable envy. The praise word envy. The one that is allowed. Which one is allowed? And the second one for Uwa Al Hasadul Masmum. Al Masmum. Allah one. Unacceptable envy. The hatred one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislike it. Horrible servant of Allah. For who are Wal Asadul Mamduhu, I will give to Tom for who are I yet a man in his son, I yet a man who led in a way to him, mean very irradiated in the happy man in the way he in the happy give to Tom, he has if a tool in men for how they are those. Envy in such a way that you wish someone, you know, you see someone who is blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you admire the blessings of Allah upon him. You love it, you like it, you want the, the type, the same blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you also want it. Mingari is a habin. من غير إرادة إذهابي إذهابي without wishing him to lose his own blessing you can see you are not wishing him to do what to lose his own blessing but you also want the same thing that was what Prophet Muhammad taught us if you see that someone is blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Prophet said, Idi Allah bil baraka, Idi Allah alawu bil baraka. Pray for him and ask Allah to give you. He has more than that. Allah can give you more than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to him. Why are you envying him? Wrongly. Yes, you admire him. Ah, I like it. You are so knowledgeable. You are blessed with, with good children, good houses. You are blessed, you are blessed with money. Ah, I, don't, I also want this kind of money. Yes, there's nothing wrong in that. As long as you are not wishing him bad thing. You are not wishing him to what? Downfall. So as long as you are not wishing him anything bad in Islam, that one is acceptable. And it's allowed in Sharia. That is why we have it in the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Even this kind of uh, envy is one of the attributes of a believer, a true believer. You are also asking Allah to give you the same thing. That's very good. We have it in the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad. صلى الله عليه وسلم كما سأل لا حسد إلا في اسمتين رجل أتى الله مالا فسلطه على على هلكته في الحق ورجل إذا want to envy one another try to envy on two things two ways number one if you see that someone is blessed is blessed by Allah سبحانه وتعالى you want to envy him try to envy him by Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him doing good to his family ask Allah to give you the same thing give you something that you do to, to support your family that is one way the other way is a man who is blessed who is blessed with money with everything with knowledge and, is, and, and people around him are benefiting from that thing. 
demand it for Allah. Ask Allah to give you kind of that kind of what of of blessing. And it's envy. And it's good, it's Allah according to Sharia. How many servants of Allah? We need to know that enviness is something that la yahalu ahadun min hasadin illa wahid. No one can be free. No one can be free from envy except one person. Only one person can be free from it. According to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, no one can be free from it except only one person. Only one one person can be free from it. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "لا يجتمعان في قلب عبد الإيمان والحسد." The only one, the only person can be free from envy is what a true and strong believer. A true believer. That's the only one person can be free. If you are a true believer, you may envy someone wrongly. Instead of that, be asking Allah to bless you. If you are a true believer, according to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because the Prophet said, "Now you turn around. Two things cannot come together in one place. Two things cannot come together, as we all know that water and fire cannot stay in the same place at the same time." لا يتنعان في كل معبد it cannot come together in the heart of a servant of Allah. What? Al Iman wal Hasad. Iman, faith. A strong, we are talking about the real faith. And what? Wal Hasad and envy. They can't stay together. They cannot stay together in the heart of a good and a, a strong believer. That is why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the only person that can free, that can save from envy is what al mu'min, al mu'mina, a true believer. So I bada bila haula wala kuwata illa billah. بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد وتنك الله سبحانه وتعالى تلا سبحانه وتعالى to guide every single one of us we are be talking about envy and we need to know the punishment and before then we have mentioned one of the two types of envy, we say the first one, the one that is Allah. We are giving ourselves the, the example of that. And the second one is Wal Hasad al Masmum al Mamnu Fawa Yetamanna Nisan Sawan Ni Matamin Mustahak Laha Warbama Kana Maadalika Saya Fi Isa Latiha Wakodia. أسألنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من عاذ فقال لا تباغضوا ولا تحاسدوا ولا تدابروا وكون عباد الله إخوانا ولا يحل المسلم أن يهدر أخاه فوق الثلاث الليال صلى الله عليه وسلم The second one is the one that we are talking about that we should try to do away do away for envy Remember the blessings of Allah upon you. What Allah has, subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with. So that you can thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet said, La tabagadu. Do not hate one another. Do not hate one another. Wala tahasadu. Do not envy one another. Wala tadabaru. Do not turn back away. For one another, that is the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad. That the second type of 
envy that is no good, that is, that is forbidden. Hala ibn Samant of Allah, wa ma dolaruhu, wa ma dolaru al-hasad. What are the dangers? The dangers of envy. We have it. Wa amma dolaruhu fi dunya, fa inna al-hasida yata'allamu ولا يزال في كمد وغم وهم لا ينقطع عنهما دام قلبه ممتلها حكدا وحسدا an envier an envier will not have peace an envier will be going through a lot of calamities an envier in his life, yata'allam, yata'allam, wa fi gammi. He will just, you know, find himself in sadness because you will be concerned about someone's blessing. So for that reason, he will not have peace. What that one alone, that one alone is enough for someone to do away from envy. Because it's a danger. It's a danger on your head, on your life, everything about you. You're not happy. Not only that. For the Ali say, Inna Muzaminata. ولا ينال من الملائكة إلا إلا لعنة وبغضة ولا ينال عند الموقف أي يوم الكيان ونكالا another thing another danger for an envier is that the angels of Allah will be cursing him all the angels of Allah that's another danger they will be cursing him on the day of the Qiyamah, Subhanallah al -Azim. on the day of Qiyamah, لا ينان عند موكفين يوم القيامة إلا فريحة وهوانا. He will be embarrassed. He muneted. Because of that envy. That is another punishment. وَأَوَاكِبُونَ هَلْ حَسَدْ وَمَحَاطِرُهُونَ هَلْ حَسَدْ مَعْزِيَّةٌ وَخَطِيَّةٌ Beware that envy is a sin. It's a sin. We may not see it as we may, we may see it as nothing. As a as minor thing before Allah. But it's a sin. No? It's a sin. Many of us we don't we don't see it as anything. Just as if someone drink alcohol, we all know it's, it's what it's a sin. Or you, you wrong Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. If you envy, you also committed. You sin against Allah. It's a sin. That is another danger for us. For to do away from envy. How many servant of Allah? We need to understand that wa in al hasida qad sakhta qada Allah. Sakhta qada Allah. You are trying to go against the destiny of Allah on someone fighting against it. If you are envy someone, so you are trying to tell Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, why did you do that? That's the meaning. So and another thing. Another danger for us, remember, we said it at the beginning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amarana anasta'iza min al hasad min sharri hasidi kama amarana anasta'iza min al shaitan. Remember, we said it. Allah said that we should try to seek refuge in Allah from the evil of an envy, envier, from the evil of an envier. As we do seek refuge in Allah from Shaitan, 
You can see? So Allah equates an envier with who? With shaitan. That's another danger. And an envier and shaitan, they will be in the same position before Allah. Let's try to do away from an envier, from an en from envy, which is uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and um, for an envied person, we have three things. There is nothing you can do to please an envier. You can't satisfy him. The only way you can satisfy an envier is that when you want that blessing of Allah to be taken away from you, so it will be pleased. It will be pleased. It's just because of that blessing of Allah. And when it's taken away from you, it will be, it will be pleased. So you are expected to do, to do three things. Number one, adua for you to prevent yourself from an envier from the evil of an envier. Number one is a dua, prayer. Be praying. Number two, according to the Prophet Muhammad, Prophet says, Istainu ala qadahi hawa hijikum bil kitman fa inna kulla zi ni'matin ma'asud. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet says, pursue your personal plan secretly. It's not everything you hope on. It's not everything you, you, you post on social media. You are doing a birthday today on social media. Uh, doing a housewarming on social media. Doing this one. Everything you are placing, you are placing on the social media. Uh, the prophet said, Bill Kitman, it's not everything you, you open, you, you expose. Your, your plan, keep it with you. Because, for him, Kulla Zainatim Mahsud. Every blessed person must be envied. That is the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad. There is no how, except if you don't want that blessing. When, once you are blessed, the only thing is you know how to manage your life, how to manage yourself. You cannot expose everything. I have billion, I have this, I have that, I have good children in the UK, I have this one. It's not everything you expose. The Prophet said, keep it with you. Number three is a sober patience. These are the three things you can use to defeat an envier. Because there's nothing you can do to satisfy him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah. Bila hawla wala kuwata illa billah. Rabbana atina fi dunya asana. Wa fil akhirati asana. Wa kina adabana. Remember that this prayer is for all of us. If you see someone who is blessed by Allah, you can also demand for it. Allah says it, Rabbana atina fi dunya asana. So you can also ask for Allah, Oh Allah bless us. Give us all the goodies of this world and hereafter. May Allah grant all of us. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Nash'adu an la ilaha illa anta nastakurka wa natubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Akimu salatu.